Welcome to Lady Writ. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I take down my braids. I have two methods and how I wash my hair afterwards. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. So a few weeks ago, I had these blue ombre braids in. Um, they weren't looking that bad, like the actual braids themselves. You can't really see the little ends sticking out on the camera, but my scalp, it was looking really, really messy. I had these in for about a month and it was time to take them down. Also, I really wanted to try my new wig, which is the Outrate Daphne. You can check out my review on that wig by clicking the little eye in the top right. Let's get started with taking these down. First I had to cut off a few knots at the end. Some people do this when they braid, others don't. That's perfectly fine. And at first I just um, unraveled it with my fingers and I realized this was taking forever. Also, my hair ended up in this tangled mess. But regardless, once I reached my roots, the hair was loose enough to just slide it off. Yay, freedom! So there are a few different methods that I use to unravel my braids. First is using a comb. Method is the same regardless of the comb. You just find the little holes in the braid. Slot the comb through. And pull it down. Just like that. You could also use a wide tooth comb. I found that this actually works a lot better than the fine tooth one because it detangles the braiding hair as you're going along. And then once you get to your roots, it'll be loose enough for you to just pull it off your hair. Another comb that you could use is a rat tail comb. You just use the bottom of the comb and run it through the braid. I found that this was a lot faster than all the other combs. The second method that I used was cutting the braid. Now I only did this on the hairs in the front and the back since they were shorter. I just found where my hair actually ends on the braid, go down a few inches and then start cutting there. This might be a bit difficult depending on how thick your braid is. Now all you have to do is unravel that tiny piece which will go a lot quicker. So this was the last braid. I used the combination of the rat tail comb and cutting the braid which went really quickly. So now I'm just combing through my hair to get rid of any um, braiding hair and also to check for any braids that I might have left out. Now I rinsed my hair with water because I am about to shampoo. So I used the Pam Olive Classic Aloe Vera Shampoo for dry hair. I'm mostly focusing on the roots of my hair since that's where most of the product build up happens. Just to get it really nice and clean, I'm applying the shampoo and massaging it into my scalp. After a good long massage, I can rinse it out. So I've just finished rinsing out the shampoo. Now I'm sectioning my hair into four. I first go down the middle and then from ear to ear. Because now I'm going to condition my hair and detangle it. So to detangle and condition, I'm using the Pam Olive Classic Apple Conditioner, which is for normal hair. And I'm going to use about this much. If I need more, I use the same amount. 
and that's for one section I just ran it through and then start detangling with my wide tooth comb Once the middle and the ends of my hair are detangled, I go in with my detangling brush to really get into the roots so that everything is completely detangled. Once that section is completely detangled and I can run my fingers through, I just roll it into a bun and continue on the rest. So first I add conditioner, then I use my white tooth comb to detangle the middle and the ends. And once those are detangled enough to run my fingers through, then I just use my detangling brush and work my way up into the roots. I left this in for 5 minutes and once you're looking nice and crazy, you can go rinse it off. At this point, my hair is clean and conditioned. So I'm about to blow dry it, so I use my white tooth comb just to comb through it so that it's easier for me to comb as I'm drying it. I'm using my common hair dryer and just combing as I dry each part. I'm not really sectioning it, just trying to get it dry but not too dry. To moisturize, first I'm going to use this Easy Waves Oil Sheen Comb Mud Conditioner Hairspray and I'm just spraying it all over the hair like every single part of my hair now I just run my fingers through to spread it around for my scalp I'm using this amlo oil and I'm just dotting it all over my scalp this oil contains coconut oil and olive oil which are really good for hair growth This next step is kind of optional. I'm just going to go in with a flat iron because um, I haven't relaxed my hair in about 3 months despite washing it every um, week or so. So I'm just going to flat iron it from the root to the end. I do about 2-3 to three passes and since my hair already has a lot of product it's not really going to be dry and brittle after I flat iron it. In this last bit, I'm just styling it to my liking. I like to have a lift part and I'm just using my red tail comb to make the part a lot more prominent. For my edges, I'm using this Easy Waves Curl Activator Gel. It's not really like a solid gel that makes your edges lay really flat. I just use it sometimes if I want a really soft look on my edges, but I don't want anything dramatic. The last thing I do is brush all of my hair with my paddle brush to get it really smooth. So this is the final look. So I'm curious to know, how long do you keep your braids in? Drop your answers in the comment section below. Well, if you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I post videos like this every Thursday, so if you're interested, then please subscribe if you haven't already. And click that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Bye for now, but not forever.